sailing around the world. How awesome would that be? Sailing where there's no land at sight. Meeting new people and learn about the culture. Seeing exotic places, going on adventures and try new things. It may sound like a crazy dream, but every day thousands of people are making that dream come true. So I decided to make the dream a reality. What could be a better way to learn to sail than joining an international yacht race? Starting in Darwin in Australia and after 600 nautical miles finishes at Ambon, Indonesia. Now I need a boat and a crew. Peter Charles, a 74 years old skipper who has been sailing his whole life. From the Royal Marine Commando in England to sailing in the Pacific Ocean. The stories from this man never end. Brett Coiler, a life warrior diesel mechanic who embarked on this adventure with no prior sailing experience. And Bill Armstrong, a retired man who is no novice to sailing, nor the rum. And the boat, a 42-foot multi-hull race boat, designed for speed, not comfort. This boat is about 30 years old and won many competitions. A week before the race, we prepared the boat for the journey. In croc infested water, we loaded food and water and coated the bottom of the boat with anti-fouling paint. Now we are ready to go. Dyna Beach Race Control, this is wing one, wing one. Four POV are standing towards the start line now, over. Roger, wings one, copy that. We were just about to cross the start line when our boat was in a collision course with another. But luckily no damage was made to the hole. Since I got on the boat that morning, I was in a constant learning mode. I was trying to absorb as much as possible. Raising the anchor, hoisting the sail, trimming the sails, navigation, even how to drink like a sailor. I also learned what does it mean to live at sea like cooking on a rocking stove. And most important, having fun! Hours and hours of physically doing nothing, but mentally, constantly active, thinking about everything. The day turned into night and the hours into days. My life was now all about wind and sun. There's no better way to be aware of the elements than sailing a boat. And there is no earthly experience that can match the feeling of floating for days in a desert of water. Unfortunately, an old feeling had crept into my brain and body. I was seasick. 
that no matter how many pills I took or what I ate, I still felt really bad. I was told that after three days your body gets used to it. But my body suffered the whole six days. Airborne race control, airborne race control, airborne race control. This is wings one. Wings one, wings one, wings one. Uh, vitamin B, vitamin B. Hello, vitamin B, how are you going? Not too bad, where are you? Just come around the headland, headland. we're uh, in the light of the um, flashing light. You wouldn't know if there's any moorings left. Nah, no idea. <laughs> Worth a try, cheers bud. See you then. Gotcha. With first light, Ambon revealed itself, and what a beauty. On arrival, we were welcomed with dancers and music. Dinner parties. Beautiful landscapes. I was overwhelmed with the landscape, history and people of this land. And after a week, my boat was heading to a new destination. Banda Nera. 175 nautical miles from Ambon, there's a small group of islands with rich history and nature. How can I miss this rare opportunity? I had to give sailing another chance. So I decided to try sail again to beat the motion sickness. 36 hours of sailing and I still got ill. But it was worth it. Bandanera is spectacular. A 350 old fort reminds us about the Dutch nutmeg industry. An active volcano that provides great adventure and view, but only if the clouds permit.
Unfortunately, we had to leave this paradise and head back home. I found sailing amazing. The freedom, the connection with nature, the path it opens into your soul. Now is the last chance for me to decide. Will I continue to pursue my dream to sail around the world, or should I accept the fact that sailing is not for me? Sadly, the crook feeling in my guts and head was strong enough to make its point. I had to find another way to travel the world.